Tyler Kelly. And Devin Robinson for the tip. And it belongs to the Mad Ants. We are underway. Just talk about how they've been able to come together. And, and he just said he's been impressed by the chemistry with just a handful of practices, a couple of scrimmages, but he's Austin Spurs with a couple NBA players on assignment. Ryan Bowen, the second, coming off a 14-point outing. Gets the Mad Ants started, and there's Williams with the answer. <laughs> I, I'm saying absolutely yes. It's the best prescription right now. Oh, Kenny Williams is making the most of his first start. Come out after one or two years. So if, you, if you're playing four years under Roy Williams, you have to just have a really high basketball IQ. Rival college players now on the same team. So, so many interesting dynamics. Jones, this is why he's averaging over 11 assists per game. Yeah, the assist king has just done such a good job in his rookie season reading the defenses and getting his teammates involved. That time it was Kelly. Look, you with the answer. Well, it's the same chemistry that Jones guided with Zion Williamson and R.J. Barrett. Now an alley-oop to Kelly. Great Jones with the special delivery. On some drive and kick action. We're three games and four minutes into the season. It's the answer. It's good for Jalen LeCue, who has started out this game hot. Got yeah, five of the first seven for the Mad Ants. New York City kid. Ooh, Williams Ooh. already has six. Three of three. Here comes Jones. Three games and not even five minutes into the season, and Jones has 36 assists. Alley oop! Tyler Kelly's all over the tin. Tyler Kelly uncontested at the rim. Spurs are 3 0, and they're living up to that record early as the finish goes for Devin Robinson. And Fort Wayne trying to foul now. Pull up is good. That's going to lead us to a timeout. Six assists on seven made field goals for the Austin Spurs. LeCue has been hot. Quickback doesn't go. A third chance at it. Rayshon Hammonds. Ray Jones is coming off the 31 and 11 with the dish. And the three drops. Spurs just doing a great job of creating and sharing the ball, getting everybody involved early. Alley oop and the jam. Rayshon Hammonds hammers it home. It's a great offense early on. Here's Williams. Oh, Kenny Williams is scalding hot. The second also in now. Eight on the shot clock for Jones. Jones floats. Woodard the second with the putback. One of the best six men in the bubble. Oh, rejection by Renfro. Renfro not in his house on this Monday. Freshman year of high school, he stood at five foot nine. Now he's at six foot eight. He's just kept growing and growing. From the corner, it's Robert Woodard the second. So unselfish right now. Giving everyone an opportunity. Knocked down three from the corner. Daxter Miles Jr. Elected to Renfro. Who's handling it? I mean, he was the point guard at 5'9 as a freshman in high school. At NBA G League on Twitter. Tweeted out the highlight of the dunk. And Trey Jones apologized to Duke fans saying, sorry Duke fans. Now it all makes sense. He didn't do anything wrong. That's funny. He's doing everything right inside the bubble. Hammonds puts it back in. Spurs team has averaged 113 per game in their first three. Shamanich somehow got that into Woodard, who on the second try places it in. So now Fort Wayne wants to see if they can try and dictate the tempo of this game a little bit more. Shamanich with the back down. That's why he's got opportunities at the NBA level before. Perhaps at 19th overall in the 2019 draft by the Spurs as Jones fits it in with the left hand. And San Antonio, you just think about the potential of some of these young players. I love that Shamanich wears 19, the number he was selected. Look back is good for Putney. You didn't have a, a true training camp, so you're not getting that preparation like rookies normally have. Wayne comes up with the stop. Alley-oop time, and it's connected to Daxter Miles, Jr. 
Here's Gray with a head of steam. Put back slam for Devin Robinson, who rumbles his way to the rim. Just got to be careful with that dropping of the shoulder as he's looking to back in. Right on cue here. Here is Shamanich. Fancy footwork for the bucket. You know why, Kim? Around the other way for the easy two. Oh, baseline drive with a step with authority. Jalen LeCue. Shoot around I do too. here. We're, we got to get the rust off soon, hopefully. Jones has no rust. Trey Jones with the floater. Guys to forego college basketball. Entered the 2019 NBA draft. And to a lot of people, they thought, what is this route that he's taking? Pacers, just a consistent franchise in the association. 14 and 13 right now. Won back-to-back -back games as that falls. Haven't seen much of in this game thus far, but he's able to finish. Just like that, mad answer in the lead after a scorching start from the Spurs, but Spurs answering back. We got a good one, John. Williams has been a man possessed in this starting opportunity. He leads the way with 11 points. Getting the start. Oh, oh, oh! Devin Robinson! Devin Robinson on his head and letting him know, but then at the... Oh, we're going to watch it again. We need to see that again. Tip back out to Williams. Reynolds gets it back and was left open. Put back for Robert Woodard the second. Oh, a dunk party has broken out in the bubble. They're testing the rims here early on. Ooh, a lot of power in this game. Look, Hugh, he's been powerful. You can feel like the Spurs after getting disrespected now. Okay, <laughs> switch into another gear. Yeah, this one has a lot of intensity to it right now. Jones floats. Will they count it? Well, you know why he said it, Kim? He said because in this world where Zion and RJ were getting a ton of attention, and rightly so, Trey just carried himself so, so well. Jones, so crafty with the basketball. 12 on the shot clock. Robert Woodard, the second, uses the glass to hand Austin what would be their first loss. Mitru Long with some quickness to the tin. Just so many talented guards on this Fort Wayne team. John, the scoring can really come from anywhere. Reynolds is playing with a chip on his shoulder. He was a guy that was under-recruited heading into college, went to Tulane. Now 25 years of age is that one falls. Brian Bowen the second. Here's Reynolds again. Rather, Williams, who knocks it down. Kenny Williams has 13. Nearly doubled last year's scoring average this afternoon. Making his first start in the bubble. Another toss up to Devin Robinson. Here comes Jones. Oh, he was thinking about finding Williams. Now they got a three on one. Alley oop. Robinson can't connect. Put back is there. Bernas Mitru Long. Well, Robinson took a fall early in the game, hit the hardwood pretty hard. He's just been a different player since then, and Fort Wayne's been a different team. And that's been a calling card for you that you've brought up on these broadcasts as the finish goes for Brissett. Yeah, Coach Nielsen in his post-game comments the last game just called him a pest defensively, just somebody who is always going to be in your face, not letting you get in front. They've been unscathed thus far in the bubble. It's probably the most adversity they have seen. And maybe, Kim, it's that benefit of they've been in all three of their games. Yeah, and that's another part about being a young team is sometimes... He's that guy that you absolutely want on your squad when you're picking players and now getting his shot with a winning team. The Austin Spurs, that three drops. Got some players back and he was waived. But here he is again, getting another oh. opportunity with one of the top teams in the bubble. The putback is good for Nate Renfro. As he is sidelined with some foul trouble. Renfro's got the handles and the dish to Robert Woodard the second. Hammer time. On this Fort Wayne team looking to get their second win of the season. No one falls off for Gray. Austin in need of a surge. That spins in for Jalen Morris. 
The unbeaten Spurs, that record in some jeopardy. Kick out, and the three switched home for Jalen Morris. He's got 16 to lead the way. Gray with the response. LeCue with five on the timer. Jalen LeCue with one, and here come the Spurs. Renfro with authority. Track me here late in the third. Parentes. Parentes. Oh. oh my God. London Parentes out of University of Virginia pulling up from behind half court. Nothing but net. Pure cash to bring this to a three point game. Austin was down 16 in the third quarter. Jones alley-oop to his favorite partner, Kyler Kelly. He drew long. Upstairs, Robinson has had his one-man dunk party all afternoon. And now an and one. These two teams have struggled from three. In fact, they're a combined 13 for 49 from distance. Reynolds with the left hand, silky smooth. Inside of the paint, John, past that perimeter defense is when they have found more success. You mentioned the cold shooting from outside. Stop it! Stop it, Devin Robinson! Devin Robinson has been ridiculous this afternoon. I'm shocked that he only has 16 points. I feel like he has 30. I feel like he has 16 dunks. This has been insane. That's what's also really cool about it. He was slipping there again. Dunks are coming at crucial moments. Oh, absolutely against one of the top teams in the bubble, trying to hand them their first loss. Chaminich with the catch and shoot. Hands off of people, whether you're guarding them on the perimeter, in the post, you have to allow that freedom of movement. Jones got a step. Jones finished with the left hand. The lead is down to three. Saving that challenge for perhaps an even bigger moment. Shamanich. Quarter the second puts it back and then shares some words. Or John, I guess you only can you only get one challenge, right. which they used early on, but that was clearly the wrong call. For Woodard is an absolute beast down low. Well, you know what? You said this feels like a playoff game. The emotion shows it. Woodard the second again to Shamanich and the foul for Luka Shamanich from Woodard the second. Jones back in. T League's assist leader, so dangerous. Jones was stuffed. Brian Bowen the second with a Monday denial. Both teams getting a little cold, a little short on their shots here. Got to keep those legs into it as you're getting a little fatigued here. Shamanich pulls his way and the foul. Another two minutes of that rule. We hit the two-minute mark. Jones, the kick to the corner. Three is short for Parentis. Put back for Shamanich. Luka Shamanich is eating dinner. Two possessions, each one of them. Another down to the wire. Shamanich. Luka Shamanich is in beast mode in the bubble. He's got 24. You need to lock up right here and get a stop. You can't. You got to stay together in a moment like this. Each team with two timeouts left. Each team over the limit. Shamanich switches it home. Gray gives it off. Mitru Long, they needed it. And Naz Mitru Long delivers. Naz Mitru Long. Mitru Long attacks and finishes with the left hand. Naz Mitru Long with four straight. He's got 20. There have been five lead changes in this game. Not one here. Jones and Woodard the second. Boom! And on this timer, Austin looking to stay unbeaten. Stay online with G League Ignite. It's Jones all the way. Trey Jones with a dagger and one. Gonna be really upset with myself if I did that. Look you. Hits it in the foul. Teams are over. Mad Ants have no timeouts left. Austin has one. 
that goes for Brian Bowen the second. Winston was down 16 in the third quarter. The Spurs come back. A few. That'll do it. The Austin Spurs remain perfect.